Hello folks and welcome to uh, Linux for Seniors. Now I have a subscriber that asked me about large scroll bars for Linux Mint Cinnamon Desktop. I am going to uh, talk about how you can increase the width of your scroll bar in your file manager Nemo. And I'm also going to address uh, the issue with your Firefox web browser if you just want a visible uh, scroll bar. But I'm actually going to show you without having to edit any code, which is not really recommended, uh, especially if you are not that familiar with, uh, well, changing things uh, using uh, code. I'm going to try to do this in a little different way. And um, it may not be the absolute answer that this person is looking for, but I think you'll understand that uh, actually in your Firefox web browser, at least, um, you can use my method of scrolling rather easily. So let me get that information out a little bit later. Now, hang on, and uh, I am going to open up a, my Firefox web browser just to quickly get you familiarized with this channel if you have never subscribed. So uh, one thing is I started this channel on Feb 9. Um, I I'm naming this channel Linux for Seniors. I see, uh, basically, Linux is for any age, but my intent is to make simple videos, hence they will be long. They'll be more than two minutes. I suggest you subscribe. Well, I would, uh, I would probably recommend. How's that? Because uh, none of my videos, again, are, are less than two minutes. This way you can uh, start this video and others. You can uh, come back tomorrow to pick up where you left off the next day or following day, whichever. I'll talk about the scroll bar in a little bit. So um, I've been doing this for about 25 years. So I picked up uh, a lot of things over that time frame, and I've used a lot of different Linux distributions. So I thought I would uh, share some of that information with you folks. Uh, this should also be good to promote the uh, Linux distributions, and there are plenty of those out there. And I'll talk about some of the links that I have here, even on my... This, uh, this YouTube site has a couple of links at the bottom of the screen here, which I'll talk about in seconds. Um, my comments are turned off, but uh, please be aware of their screen. So if you're putting in salty language or any of that kind of stuff, it, it will be deleted. And uh, my previous channel, if you're curious, um, was Linux Tips by Thor, which is discontinued and closed. It had over 450 videos on it. Not really going to get into the reasons, but anyways, just wanted you to be aware that this is not my first time doing videos. All right, let's move forward. Let's keep the salty language. Uh, and if you are going to post something um, derogatory, uh, you know, don't take this the wrong way, but please just go somewhere else because uh, I, I actually put up with a lot of that on my previous channel and really I got to the point of turning comments off because it got ridiculous. So let's just please be uh, civil. All right, let's move on in a positive manner. I recommend that you watch uh, my videos if possible, if possible on a large screen since your mobile devices are usually very small in size like your smartphones, for instance. Now, I'm going to do you a couple of tricks while I'm doing all of this stuff at the same time. Some of you folks may have seen this one. I'm going to actually perform it now if you got Firefox. I make this, uh, well, rather large. And then I'm going to scroll back the other way. What I'm doing is holding down my, my, uh, my control key with my left hand and scrolling with my computer mouse. All right, so uh, if you have one of those newer, fancy, large smart TVs, um, more than likely you'll have applications on that TV, like YouTube maybe, the app. If not, you can probably go into the smart TV's uh, store and download the YouTube app, and you can watch my videos on the big screen. And uh, if you are, let's say you're following this video for Linux Mint, and you have Linux Mint installed on your laptop, you can bring that laptop and watch my video right on that big screen. Just something to think about. If your videos are blurry, there's a couple of reasons for that. One is maybe I just uploaded the, uh, the video and the uh, YouTube servers haven't replicated all over the world. Keep in mind, YouTube is worldwide. I got a nice comment the other day and thank you for that gentleman 
from uh, some uh, from Africa, West Africa. Anyways, um, what am I talking about this little gearbox? Well, let me give you a prime example over here by clicking on the home screen, pausing this loud guy. And basically you have a video player, right? And down below where your play button is, there's a gearbox. If you click it, and depending on the size of your box, uh, you'll see this quality thing. A lot of times what happens is when you're watching YouTube videos on prime time, in other words, prime hours, uh, YouTube lowers the quality, even though it's recorded in a different format. All of my videos are recorded either in 10, 80, or 4K. As in this case, it's trying to play in 360, right? So I'm going to click that and look at the option that I have on my screen, 2160, 4K in other words, and lower resolution. So your screen might be different, but more importantly, check out the gearbox before you say, well, the video looks horrible and blurry. It could be your internet connection also. So there's lots of factors of why. So usually when I upload a 4K video, uh, usually to my local uh, YouTube server or nearby, um, that server probably has already uh, crunched my 4K video. However, it's still replicating around the planet. And that could be sometimes up to three or four hours before you can get a decent 4K quality out of it. Just remember that if you're looking at a freshly uploaded a video. Alright, let's move on. I'm going to click the About screen again and just point out some links to you. DistroWatch.com if you're looking for other Linux distros or information. Uh, Gnome-look.org if you're looking for new mouse pointers, for instance. I have those videos already posted. There's some links up here if you're using a standard web browser. A standard web browser, not a mobile device. Here's one that distro watch, that little foot goes to gnome-look.org. This is the coast of Oregon, USA, if you're curious. So I have lots of videos. I currently have, I believe, 40. That's not too bad from somebody who just started this on February 9th. I believe that was two weeks ago. Anyways, folks, um, you can scroll through these. You can also do this smart. So as my video library grows, uh, it doesn't matter. I want you to notice this tiny little magnifying glass. I'm going to click the playlist and you'll st still see it here and the about screen. What is this good for? Well, you're watching this video for Linux Mint, right? Well, let's type in Mint and it's going to search all my database of videos for the keyword Mint. Well, here's Mint XFC. Here's Mint Cinema. Here's something that has Mint in it. Mint, Mint, Linux for Senior, somewhere in there has the word mint. You get where I'm going with this. Here's another one for you. If you're looking for like the keyword uh, mouse, for instance, not the rodent, computer mouse. So now you can see some different distributions that have that word mouse pointers or some word that says mouse on it. Okay, here's one for cinnamon if you're wanting to do a custom mouse pointer. I, it is 30 minutes, but I, trust me, um, I explain that in full detail. You can install normally mouse pointers within a couple seconds. All right, with that said, um, I do have also a cutesy little thing for you. And I'm using a, a function that I'm going to show you a little bit later when I get into the meat of all this stuff, that I'm doing this by moving this up and down. So my suggestion is if you are wanting to get out your smartphone, your smartphone, open up the camera on it. I'll use one example, the iPhone, for instance. If you are opening up your, and you could pause this video. Um, if you're watching this on a, on a screen other than your mobile device, so point your iPhone, for instance, at this with your smart camera. You'll get a yellow line or some color line in the middle of your screen and you click it and it, it will uh, bring you right to my YouTube site and you can bookmark that. Okay. And you can book that for uh, your friends and family and Pass that information on if you uh, like my channel. All right, so I got a uh, couple of things to talk about uh, regarding the um, the setup for wide scroll bars. So first I need to, well actually I'll just do it this way. I'm gonna right click on that panel bar and hit system settings and just scroll down to um, system information. So anyways, don't read into the hard drive part or the graphics or any of that stuff. You don't need any of this large horsepower. I just happen to use this machine for other things, but I have 
this user here is logged in to a standard interface that is non-custom. So this is Mint 21.1 Cinnamon, and you can see the version. So if you're wanting to follow along, let's talk about large scroll bars. So I'm going to open up my file manager, Nemo, to start with. Okay, so this is the standard Mint menu. Here's a couple of extra programs I added. One of them is simple screen recorder so I can bring you this video. Just wanted to point that out. None of this stuff is custom. So anyways, I am going to open up pictures for a second. So I have some pictures or wallpaper in here, right? So it has a scroll bar, you can see it. All right, I'm gonna talk about a couple of different ways that I think you can scroll without even adjusting this. So first of all, um, you can take your mouse pointer. If you've got a scroll wheel on it, it doesn't matter where you place your mouse, just scroll up and down instead of grabbing a hold of this thing. Okay, if you wanna resize those icons, you can use my tip from the, mute, uh, the new video on Nemo or your file manager to do stuff like this. Okay, and now I'm gonna release a key that is on my keyboard to do this with. That would be the control key that I'm holding down with my left hand while holding onto the mouse with my right to uh, actually resize these icons. So I'll get them to either dinky or size, whatever size. You, you can, of course, use this. Let's make this wider. So anytime you're doing this, I suggest closing down your um, file manager first before doing this. Right click on your panel bar. You can go to system settings this way or you can go through the menu and go through it this way. Click on themes, click on settings. You see this overlay thing, override, click it. Drag that number to something else. Let's do 15. I'm gonna minimize that and open up the file manager. I'm gonna open up pictures again and wallpaper. Take a look at the scroll bar. Is that wide enough for you? How about another one? Let's go a little crazy. Let's do 21 and minimize. Close the, the brow, uh, I'm sorry, close your file manager down for a second and then reopen it. That's excessive, maybe not. Maybe you like these big things. Maybe you like the big icons too. All right, more importantly, like I said, you really technically don't need this thing over here if you've got a scroll wheel on your mouse, because I'm doing the exact same thing as grabbing a hold of that thing. That's all up to you. But if you wanted that little fat guy there, excuse my French, but anyways, this wide looking scroll bar, then, uh, then click that. Override current theme scroll bar and just change the width of that. So you can experiment with these things. Before you make any changes to your, uh, your, cha your settings, you probably heard me mention this before. Make a screenshot. Anytime you alter your settings. I didn't do it before I started. I should have. Take a screenshot of the window. I'm going to send mine to, well, I'll just send it to the desktop. Just to make it easy. So I'm waiting for the thumbnail to build. Now it's done. That's all it is. It's just a screenshot of what your previous settings before you altered them. It's always a good idea to do this, folks. Now I'm going to delete that. I'm going to leave that. So now you can see that big fat scroll bar at, as soon as you get into an area where it requires a scroll bar. Let's put it that way. Okay, I think this is plenty big, but more importantly, use my method. Use your scroll wheel on your computer mouse. You don't need to grab a hold of that unless you want to. Let's talk about Firefox for a second. It's got a scroll bar also. Now, you know, there's a couple of different ways you can approach this thing. And, and uh, a lot of people will say, well, I can uh, go in there and change the codes in here and stuff like that. You know, I don't think we need to be doing that kind of stuff. And especially for fairly new users, um, that would be uh, like messing up your web browser. You know, you can look for anything on here, like wide scroll bars, for instance. Scroll bar. I know I could, uh punch that up and you're going to get some hits, right? Yeah, you're going to get some hits. Just be careful where you surf. So I have a tool turned on that gives me a check mark of what it thinks that these websites are fairly safe. 
but be careful what you click on too. Okay. I have traffic light turned on. Now let's go to settings for a second and talk about uh, if you want the bar visible at all times. Scroll down here. Keep going. Always show scroll bars. So now you can have your scroll bar up and down if you like that thing. So as we get into um, something that needs a scroll bar, um, I will go, uh, let's just type in, um, I'm just trying to think of something on the top of my head. I'm sorry, folks. I'll open up Google News. It usually has lots of things that uh, for you to read and it has a scroll bar on it. You can see it right here, right? Okay, I'm waiting for the web page to finish loading. So I'm going to double click on that line to make it full screen. And uh, let me auto hide this uh, panel bar also while I'm at it. Okay, that way it'll disappear. I'll have a full screen here. So you can see part of the panel bar here. All right, maybe I can do it that way. That be, might be better. So uh, as I'm aiming for this thing, um, a lot of people are going, well, this is too small. I agree with you. However, instead of uh, going into the web browser and start making all kinds of changes to the coding in there, my suggestion is to go ahead and just use your scroll wheel on your computer mouse to do the exact same job. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Okay. I just made the bar, bar visible. That's all I'm doing here. And I could be over here scrolling. I could also make this bigger. What am I doing here? I'm holding down the control key um, with my left hand while scrolling up and down using the same scroll wheel as I would uh, normally scroll down. As soon as I release the control key in whatever size I want, you heard that little click. I just released the, key, the sc scroll key. Excuse me, I knew I could say that. Now I can scroll normally in the resized everything. If you want it really blown up, there you have it. You probably need to make this a little bit wider if you're doing stuff like this, but now everything is huge. Maybe this is of a benefit to you, maybe not. Okay, find the, the correct size for you possibly. You notice what it says up here, it's 110%. You can also use the command control zero to reset that. Now it's back to 100%. That thing disappeared. So some hidden tricks for you folks. So do you really need this scroll bar here? Well, again, that's up to you. Go to settings, scroll down toward the bottom, and you can use that, and you can also turn on smooth scrolling. You can also use auto scrolling. I, I can drive people nuts, but experiment. Anytime you're making changes to anything, again, I would advocate screenshots even for this thing. So I'm going to uh, look for the SC tool and I'm going to drag it downstairs. I'll put it over here and close. This time what I'm going to do is I am going to do the window and you remember it doesn't take a screenshot of this box, only the material that's in this open box. So take a screenshot of that. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. I'll minimize the browser, waiting for the thumbnail to build. Open that up. I just made a screenshot inside of the web browser. You can also drag little areas, but you know what? Using this window is, is plenty good. Just uh, be aware that if you're changing an area, be in the area you want to make a screenshot. Hopefully you found this tips helpful, but I will cover this in a brief moment here, again, if you want this humongous looking scroll bar, right click, system settings, themes, settings, they're located right here. Now I'll close this. Resizing icons, scrolling up and down in the resized icons with my scroll wheel instead of grabbing that thing. That's my advice to you. You don't have to get the scroll bar wider, but I thought I'd do this because someone was asking me the question of, regarding that scroll bar. There you have that information, folks. On that note, hopefully you have subscribed. Thank you for watching Linux for Seniors.